Oh my god. What's up everyone? Prince of the Bear here, we're back at Arms Adventure because it's time to put on the cape. We're going to Cafe 4. Yes, it's been quite a while. I feel like this place needs some rescuing. So here we are to see what we can save today. This is our second review here. We're glad to say that what we had the first time is no longer available. Let's see what they have for us. Be sure to save the people. Heard the girl. And the animals. I will say, before anything, the ambiance of the Indian Cafe 4 without characters, nice and chill in here, like elevator music playing in the background. No idea what's going on in here. Uh, I hate the Universal app. Universal, I love you, but your app is terrible. You have me scan a QR code to order my food on a menu, but it just brings me to your whole mobile order menu, not even to the restaurant that I'm eating in. So I gotta scroll and find it. And then I order a Sam Adams seasonal, but you don't tell me what seasonal it is. Nobody sent me, they just drop off a beer. So it's a Sam Adams seasonal something. It's October. So I'm just gonna hope and pray it's Oktoberfest and not summer ale, but it definitely smells like summer ale and not Oktoberfest, which is heartbreaking. Yep, it's summer ale. It's very summer. That citrus, you can't you can't really mistake that. Which is fine, it's light, lighter than like a normal Sam Adams, but uh it's October, people. I got Doctoberfest, where's my Oktoberfest? Three out of five plus. Fettuccine Alfredo. I missed this during the pass holder event and thankfully Universal Orlando Vegans let us know that the pass holder pasta is here to stay. So I have vegan chicken Alfredo with parm on top. These chicken pieces look freaking huge. Okay, hold on. I malfunction. <laughs> I malfunction. Okay, we're going with it. It's really good. It is a little watered down tasting. It is a little plant-based tasting, but I really like it. And I'm glad that I have this instead of the eggplant because I did not like the eggplant at all. I will give this a three and a half out of five pastas. If you're in the mood for fettuccine, fettuccine over here. Yeah, it's pasta. I'm excited that this is here. Um, I did let everyone know that this is here to stay, at least for the time being. However, we did lose the spaghetti bolognese and the vegan eggplant parmesan, which I'm sad about. I know Princess is not. I loved the vegan eggplant parm, but that's okay because I feel like this is a good replacement. And now I'm gonna attempt to get some noodles on my fork. Princess did pretty well. I am terrible at eating pasta. I'll be really honest with you guys. I will cut my pasta so it doesn't hit me in the chin. And I know I, someone told me that's like blasphemous, but I'm sorry. I will typically do that just so I don't have to fix my makeup. <laughs> that's fair. And it will happen to me every time. And see, this is what's gonna happen. Come on, pasta, you can do it. Stab it, all right. I didn't hit myself in the chin, yay. <laughs> um, this is just as good as it was the first time I had it during the pass holder appreciation days, which I'm very happy about. There's a little bit of a consistency issue with this sometimes. Sometimes they don't give you as much sauce. And I know Princess, you said it's like kind of watered down, but it's not dry. So I'm very excited about that. Also, the chicken is looking very crispy. If you can see that, usually um, they don't saute it at all. So this is really good and I'm, I'm sad and glad it's still here. So. I always worry about plant-based Italian anything, especially when you start adding alt meats to it because that can skew the flavor of something terrible. And it's either gonna be not enough flavor, too bland. There's a lot of different things you're gonna do right in order for pasta to come out good on a normal day. Making it vegan, it's a whole nother deal. But I'm glad that Universal is doing something different. You could easily just, you know, throw a Beyond Burger in here or something lame, but we're doing, doing fettuccine. Nicely sauced, 
Is there a smaller piece of chicken in here? No. They're all huge. All massive? No, they cut with a plastic fork. That's good. Mm. At least there's that. <laughs> it means it's not overcooked at the very least. Maybe? Yeah, this whole fork thing, this is not working out. I don't know what it is. It's just. Another piece of chicken. No more chicken. I just want noodles. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard. Okay. I give up. I give up. You know? I didn't have a whole lot of faith in this. I'm not gonna lie. I know you saw from my face. I 100% faith, no. Very little faith going in. But the sauce is actually a lot creamier and thicker than I was expecting, even though it looked a little bit watery. It's got a nice um, viscosity to it to help stick the noodle. And noodles cook perfectly. The plant-based chicken also cook perfectly. Nice and tender, not overcooked, not undercooked. Got a little sear to it. The chicken does have that like plant-based aftertaste, but when you get it like all the sauce is noodle, honestly, if you told me this is real Alfredo, I would probably believe you. I would say low quality chicken, but if you told me it was chicken Alfredo, I would be full. Honestly, better than this place probably deserves. I'm giving it four out of five claws. I want to see Captain America Diner do something as good as this. This is the bar now on Superhero Island. Live up to this. So it comes with breadsticks, but I ordered extra breadsticks because as much as I love Shelby, I'm not sharing my breadsticks with her. I'm just not. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. That was so dry, I almost choked on it. That is like, expectation was this nice, warm, soft bread that just melts in my mouth, and reality was almost being choked to death. That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. That dashed all of my breadsticks, hope and dreams. It's like a one and a half out of five breadsticks. I'm, I'm now extremely sad, and I'm going to need to go, like, frolic in the fog to make myself feel better. No, whatever. Sorry, I'm poking all of them. My hands are clean. They are all, all right. All right. I'll attempt to eat this one from the fettuccine and see if it's any different than the one Princess got, but from the feel of it, it's it's not gonna be different. Oh no. Oh god. Alright, so my my plan didn't work out where I was gonna eat a different one than Princess because they're all the same. I poked them too with my finger and they're all hard, like they've been sitting out for a minute. It is the end of the day, so I will give them the benefit of the doubt on that, it can happen. Bread gets stale. We should make some croutons. But anyway, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> Take a home and croutons. I don't know. Yeah, kind of stale, unfortunately. Theme park breadsticks are dangerous breed. I never thought they'd give you weapons in a superhero cafe, but it looks like they did. We're gonna dip it in the marinara sauce. Maybe, maybe that'll help a little bit. Probably not. Universe is like, you look a little touch starved, so how about we choke you? Oh my god. All the marinara sauce in the world is not gonna save that thing. It's just a gigantic, dense bread missile, and not in a good way. It's a one and a half out of five claws. Maybe, maybe you skip the breadstick, or just ask for something fresh. I'm sure they'll make you a freshman if you ask. But that, that's not great. So we're gonna sub. Chicken parm sub, which is a inside joke of me and the princess because I actually don't love chicken parm. But once upon a time, not so long ago, I used to tell her that it was something that I like to eat often because I thought it was easy to make, even though it's kind of not. Uh, I don't really love chicken parm like that, but it was this or meatball sub or a chicken salad I've already had. So why not see what they could do? Uh, you got a nice healthy dose of chicken in here, like two pieces. Lots of cheese, marinara sauce. It's not messy or runny, which is what I usually hate about like marinara based subs. So I can actually take a bite of this and not, I think not make a mess of myself. We're gonna do it in the end without the huge piece of chicken sticking out. 
I'm worried because this is like a combination of things that like either the chicken wouldn't be cooked well, or pretty well be like either soggy or it would be like dried out with just sauce put over top. Luckily, it's neither of those things. The breading is seasoned, the chicken is moist. The sauce is just enough sauce to cover it, but not like disintegrate and destroy the bread. And there's more than enough cheese. Honestly, if you love like marinara based subs, like a meatball sub or a chicken parm, it's actually rather tasty. I'm not gonna be able to finish this whole thing. It's definitely like thick and dense, but it's actually kind of good. I don't know why I've been going to hang out with Captain America when I come hang out with the Fantastic Four. Really, they just like fours. Four out of five bucks. We found adventure and we survived. And then we left. I didn't choke on the breadstick. I actually did finish most of my sub though. I finished most of my one singular breadstick yeah. and that's it. Those were uh, brutal. Universal. I didn't know you were allowed to give out weapons, but hey, if that's what you're going to do, that's what you're going to do. But when I start sword fighting people in this park with breadsticks, that's on you. Big thank you to Shelby at Universal Orlando Vegans for sharing this dish with me. Yes, always. Check her out. Links are below. If there's anything else you guys want us to do, of course, the comments are always going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell. We'll see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. We'll see you soon. Go to Hornites. We'll see you in the fog. I heard the girl. <laughs>